The gravitational force is the weakest among the uh, four fundamental forces that we have in nature. If we take these two uh, uh, rubber plastic rods, put them close together, in principle there's a gravitational force between the, between the rods. But in practice, because their masses are so small, they don't seem to influence each other much at all. However, if you take those two same uh, plastic rods and uh, take a, a piece of fur, a little uh, volunteer here for our, from the uh, cat world to help us, um, and you rub the rods, let me, let me rub this one first, rub the rods with the cat fur, you do something to those rods by the rubbing that makes them different than they were before. If we rub this one, for example, both of them in the same way, and now put them up close to one another, those two rods exert forces on one another. If you put this rod close to it now, it's not like uh, the gravitational force. It's a much stronger force. And you can see that if you put it up there like that, it influences the other rod. This is the evidence for a second force in nature, the electrical force. Um, now, if you look at that, is that a, uh, an attractive force or a repulsive force? Ah, let's see, push, push, push around there like that. That's a repulsive force, one of the most repulsive forces I've ever seen. All right. So there's a force and it's a repulsive force. But now take a different substance, a piece of uh, glass rod and a piece of vinyl and rub those together and uh, see what happens. So we'll rub that a few times and hope we get it, uh, get it rubbed right. And now if we put those up one by the other, instead of pushing, it pulls. If I get on the other side, stop! Stop, you rascal! Stop! Come back! Come back! You can see this time it's not a repulsive force, but it's an attractive force. Stop! Come back! Come back! Like that. Well, that's our evidence that there are two kinds of, of, of what we call charge. When we rub these rods, we're giving them a characteristic that they didn't have before. We call that characteristic a charge. We say the rods are now charged, and they behave differently than they did before. But there's two different ways that the rods can be charged. If both are charged by rubbing with the cat fur, they repel each other. But if you rub one of them with the cat fur and the other with and the rubber and the glass rod with the vinyl, then they attract each other. So there are two kinds of charge, and arbitrarily we've given names to them. This rod is said to be negatively charged, and this one is positively charged. And the rule is the like charges repel each other, but the opposite charges attract one another.